so i wanted to make a video as i told y'all before um just about the great awakening nutrition and the great conjunction is going to take place during the winter solstice so let's get started first of all um a lot of people think that the great awakening is happening right now this is technically not the great awakening the great awakening generally won't take place until next year um what's happening now is that i know y'all hear me say all the time that all of us are chosen but there are some of us that are chosen for a particular task and a lot of people are awakening now going through their great awakening now ahead of others because we're meant to kind of lead and guide the others into this new world that's forming um after this year is over so um it's been misconstrued now that the great awakening is taking place right now this is not the great awakening we are preparing for the great awakening we are messengers we are healers we are um shamans great priestesses high priestess high priestesses like we are the people who will guide our people into the new better perfect utopia that's um gonna happen um and it's not gonna be right off people are gonna start to awaken in a great awakening starting next year but it's gonna take a complete seven year cycle um to actually have everyone in place and everything in its place in order to start with this new world so first of all um that's what something i wanted to get out of the way i tell my clients this a lot and they don't seem to really understand but i have to constantly tell myself it's not time for them to understand it's not for them to understand right now so those of you who do understand um that's that message on that um continue to evolve continue to go through your spiritual awakening because you do have a bigger purpose um whether you're um a teacher whether you're a healer um whatever your role is right now that seems minute to you it's because the great awakening has not begun just yet you're still going through your training you're still going through your um your your elevation so um which kind of brings me to the great conjunction that's happening 12 21 2020 but before that i want to talk about nutrition it all comes back to the great conjunction that's gonna happen but um nutrition as far as nutrition as you all probably heard gamma rays are gonna be um exposed in high dosages on 12 21 2020 and that's where the spiritually awakened the gifted now are gonna get like an upgrade basically so in order for this upgrade to take place within yourself um accurately we'll say accurately your body needs to be in position to receive these gifts you cannot be consuming um foods that are heavy in toxins um that create heavy mucus in your body um heavy meats heavy metals things like that you cannot your body can't be completely contaminated so i urge you all to detox detox cleanse 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 as much as you can before that time and try to eat less um i don't know if you've heard the saying stiff as a board light as a feather that's kind of what you're going to need to be in order to receive in order for the gamma rays to actually do its its purpose its job within you um so i want to urge everyone like i said drink plenty of spring water um water 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 if you want to take water fast do water fast that's you know ideal for a couple of days on and off every week you don't have many weeks probably two weeks left but a water fast is very 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 important you need to be um you no know, very 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 hydrated um because they they are, they are rays so you want to be hydrated you want to have as the least amount of mucus in your body um i reiterate this all the time when you have excessive mucus in your body it's because your body is attempting to fight off something so the less mucus you have in your body the more healthier you are this also will help with the transition 
um metals metals heavy metals get in your body from many things um taking showers um with faucet water the environment just going outside you get heavy metals that come in through your skin through your pores um the foods that we eat even the vegetables that we buy out of the grocery store contain heavy metals because they're sprayed with pesticides and other chemicals um either to help it grow faster um or like i said pesticides just to keep the bugs away from eating it all up while they're growing it or what have you so we really need to focus on detoxing detox 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 um and it's also good for you anyway um because after the fact um you're gonna wanna meditate more. And it's easier to meditate when your body is not you know, heavy or contaminated. So that's a very important thing I wanted to discuss about the nutrition. Um, if you have any questions or want any help, like I said, I will be helping a few people in their transition all the way up until um, 12, 21, 2020. So if you have any questions or just want a little bit of guidance, feel free please feel free to contact me inbox me um what else did i want to talk about before i get into okay so the great conjunction is happening on 12 21 2020 i can express how important this date is for um us you all know just as well as i do but there are some people who are still going through their awakening who um, need a little bit more guidance. And I feel like we should be there to guide them as much as possible. Um, we shouldn't be charging for things like that um, because the purpose of going through this transition is to get us back to um, humanity, basically. Helping each other, being there for each other, making sure no one's um, lacking or going without even if i mean going without from knowledge all the way down to their livelihood food shelter things of that nature so if you see anyone and i'm the type of person that i just hop on your post and put my two cents in whether you like it or not or hop in your inbox hey i saw you share this if you need any help or um just any knowledge that you feel like you're lacking feel free whatever i'm just that type of person um i know not everyone is some people are kind of standoffish right now because we're going through a lot of changes and there's a lot of uncertainties but if you're meditating the way that you should be a lot of things should be coming a bit more clear to you now um in essence that 12 21 is right around the corner um so um the great conjunction basically will be the planets of jupiter and saturn and if you go look into just researching into astrology and um astrological phenomena you'll see that these two planets which they call dimensions in astrology they call planets different dimensions or worlds basically which it could very well be but you will see that jupiter and saturn do not conjoin very often in this particular year um it's happening on the winter solstice i have a winter solstice baby so um well his birthday is actually the 22nd so on the night of the 21st we're gonna have a bonfire sit out with our binoculars hopefully i want to have a um, telescope by the end but if things don't go as planned we'll have our binoculars sitting out back with our bonfire to witness this we'll be meditating praying playing just enjoying the night to bring in his birthday so um this is the first time that it'll be happening during the winter solstice which is a big deal because um if you go back to the story of christ he was born uh, practically under the north star which is an indicator of you know the winter solstice winter coming in um so it, there's a lot of symbolic meaning that you can find in different books just researching it period but i'm just going to give you all my take on it so with it being on winter solstice this year um this conjunction that happens every 20 years but it this year the planets are going to be so close that it's going to look like one star could be mistaken for the north star 
that was um seen during the birth of Christ. But um yeah, they're going to conjoin, they're going to be so close together um this year that it's going to look like one big bright star. The energy that these planets are going to um are going to basically give out during this time is going to be so powerful that it's going to change our DNA. Um, some people, the chosen ones at this moment, um, we're here for a reason. We have been, been being groomed from generation to generation. Um, like it's in our blood, it's in our lineage to take on this responsibility. So our DNA specifically will get an upgrade and um, those are of us who are still of childbearing age, the children that we produce after this time or that we've already produced, of course, is in the lineage. But the children that we produce after this time will start a new, um, basically a new gathering or a new um, start, just start start a new, like some of us are um, consider ourselves star seeds. Some of us consider ourselves indigo children. So after this great conjunction, the new generation basically of the star seeds and indigo children um, or whatnot will be produced. And they will be even more powerful than we are. They will be even greater than we are. So it, this is a very, very historical moment for us right now. And about this new world, just to bring it up, I know a lot of people are concerned about the new world order. Um, the Illuminati issues or what have you, whatever they got going on. I mean, that really has nothing to do with what's actually taking place. I feel like that the NWO, that the Illuminati or whoever came up with was a distraction to deter people from actually wanting a new world order. The new world order is simply um, one phase or cycle in history ending to begin a new one so we have um we have come into the aquarian age which is the age of truth light and love so that's what's basically that's what the change is going to be the political system that we cling to i'm going to stop saying we because i really don't but the political system that people cling to is going to crash the financial system that people cling to is going to crash. Just our everyday toxic way of living um, is going to end. And we're going to go back into the way that you know the Most High created us to live. In abundance and love and um, prosperity and light. Like, um, So the changes that are taking place are going to seem scary at first. A lot of things have to burn away, have to be stripped away in order for the new things to grow so you may see wars you may see um just a lot of chaos around but this is um a time more than ever for us to stay grounded stay in meditation when things seem to get hectic and to truly know who you are in your purpose um you should have no fear going into this time because um, you're here for a greater reason. You're not going anywhere until your purpose is served. So I want you all just to um, get into the habit of eating less right now. Get into the habit of meditating more right now. Get into the habit of praying more right now. And not praying to ask for anything, but praying to give thanks. Praying to show gratitude for the life that you're given and life that's being um, basically grown right in front of your eyes. Um, this utopia that we're going into is going to be basically a new Genesis. So we'll be going through revelations to get back to Genesis, just like the good book. So um, that's pretty much all I you know, was supposed to let you all know. Um, this is basically one of the most stressful times for the people who are in power now they are stressed they they know what's coming more than some 
people who think that they know a lot, <laughs> but they know what's coming and they're stressed. They're angry that they couldn't stop it. They're angry that their reign is over. So they may be coming after certain people. They may be trying to shut down certain things. I really, really encourage you all to stay grounded. Stay grounded, know who you are, know why you're going through what you're going through. And some people aren't used to going through um, trials, basically. I can attest that I'm, I've always been the type of person that always got things right. I'm used to always being good at things. Whatever I do, I was always good at it. So when I was brought into this knowledge and of who I am and why I'm here and my purpose, things just started to go crazy or right go just in disarray for me and it was something that I wasn't used to and for a normal person who probably would have broken went into depression suicide just not being able to handle it I feel like I've handled everything that has come to me to elevate me um with grace and ease and I'm grateful for that I'm grateful for, uh, for being created in a way where I'm able to with withstand um even the harshest of things that you can think of that a person could go through um and come out victorious so i want you all to know that the same spirit is in you we will be victorious we have no other choice but to be it's already written it's already prophesied we're just carrying out the work of the most high and it is what it is um I'm here for y'all if you just want to talk, if you need somebody to meditate with, just to clear your mind or just any type of conversation that you want to have, um, power, uh, power meetings, whatever it is you need. I'm here for you. I may not be here for you 24-7 because I'm busy, but leave me a message, inbox me, and I will definitely get back to you. So that's the message. I hope you all are preparing. I hope you all are prepared um, and just living your best life because it's an amazing time to be alive right now. We're about to witness some amazing things. We're about to be a part of an amazing change. And I really can't wait to see you all on the other side. So enjoy, enjoy the great conjunction that's happening on the 21st don't be too stressed about it i know that um people are planning meditation parties um where everyone just get, just um has a certain time where we plan to stop meditate and pray um and just to absorb like i mean even after the conjunction the way that you feel after it is gonna pretty much speak for itself light will literally pass through your body and give you a glow that you can't turn off so i mean it's, it's just a lot of interesting fascinating and exciting things that that are gonna come with this and i'm excited to see you all on the other side like i said so you all be blessed take my words use them meditate on them and be grateful gratitude